All right, Manga Hero, I see how you get down. Recently, if you guys are not aware, Manga Hero, a fellow manga YouTuber, threw down the gauntlet for other manga creators to show off their favorite manga series on each of their bookshelves. And this man had the audacity to choose series such as Basilisk over Gantz. He chose Ajin Demi Human over One Punch Man. This man chose Assassination Classroom over One Piece, which I just cannot ignore. So I decided, you know what, I'm gonna throw my hat in the ring. I'm gonna show you guys all my favorite series on each of my bookshelves. Now, I have those two, I have this white shelf here, and then I have two more bookcases that are at my apartment right now, so I'm gonna do all five. But starting off here, we're gonna start with my brown shelf. On the shelf, as you can see here, we have Battle Royale, Knights of Sidonia, Scryad, which I haven't read, but I doubt would make the list anyway, Lone Wolf and Cub, uh, Mobile Suit Gundam The Origin, Bokorano Hours, we have 20th Century Boys next to Pluto, um, Dog Ningen, which is definitely a top prospect, but since I only have one volume, it's not going to be in the running. Then we have Vagabond, Gigant, GTO Early Years, and GTO 14 Days in Shonen. So we have a lot of hard-hitting series here. Honestly, this is a pretty tough pick. I mean, Lone Wolf and Cub is a classic samurai series, but I think that Vagabond is better. Bokurano, Mobile Suit Gundam The Origin are just top-tier sci-fi series, but... I don't think that any series on this shelf is quite on the level of 20th Century Boys. Um, you guys probably know this is my favorite Naoki Urasawa manga of all time, including Pluto and Monster, which I'll get to in a second. I just think that 20th Century Boys is leagues better than Monster and Pluto. Just everything about it is just done to perfection. The mystery aspects, you know, the whole friend uh, antagonist is one of the best that we've ever seen in manga. Just an amazing story. The characters, Kenji is one of the best manga characters of all time, undisputed, as well as just the incredible cast. You know, there's so many characters and moving pieces in this manga, and none of them feel neglected or pushed to the side. They're all very meaningful, a uh, bunch of badass characters and, you know, plot points and just the whole mystery aspect and suspenseful nature, the sci-fi, you know, the big ass robot, how the timeline works. You know, I won't get into too many things about this series, but 20th Century Boys is Naoki Rosawa's magnum opus, in my opinion. If you like Monster better, or you just haven't read this, I recommend checking this out. It's just a wonderful series and definitely the best on this entire bookcase. Now, moving on to the second bookcase here we have right next to the brown shelf, we have GTO, we have Sanctuary, um, Emerald, uh, Flowers of Evil, Blood on the Tracks, some Kara Mori stuff that I have not read yet. We have Slam Dunk Strain, which is <laughs> definitely not getting it. Ultimo Karkir Dojo, One Punch Man, which is definitely better than Ajin Demi Human. We have Batum, Planetess, some Satoshi Kon, and then we have Real um, behind these volumes right here. And then we have Monster back there, which, uh, spoiler alert, it's not gonna win the best series um, in this bookcase. So if I have to choose, ah, GTO. GTO is good. I feel like it's a little bit overrated though. Sanctuary is definitely one of the front runners. Um, I don't think anything that Oshimi could beat out Sanctuary. I haven't read K.R. Mori's stuff. Slam Dunk is my favorite sports series of all time. One Punch Man is also my top 10 though. And uh, Batum, I haven't read. I'm gonna have to give this one to Slam Dunk. I mean, God, Slam Dunk is just such an amazing story. I feel like this is a series that literally anybody could enjoy. I mean, it's a sports series. Again, not a lot of people, you know, not everybody likes sports, especially in, um, you know, otaku culture, I guess if you want to call it that. You know, sports is not something that's up everybody's alley. In fact, quite the opposite. Some people just hate sports. But I feel like there's something that literally anybody could love in this series from the comedy, which is great, to the characters such as um, Sakuragi. It's just a really funny and honestly pretty relatable and motivational character. You know, there's lots of motivation about, you know, being part of a team, uh, bettering yourself, you know, changing your image and just being a better person. Um, there's a lot of great stuff in this series. The action is fantastic. I don't think that there will ever be a basketball manga or a sports manga that portrays the sport in a more fun and exciting way than it is done in Slam Dunk. I mean, I could go on and on about this series. Slam Dunk is just phenomenal. It's a fast 
addicting read. It's really a shame that it's so hard to find at the moment. You know, certain specific volumes, I think like uh, 29 are pretty hard to find right now. Um, I'm blessed to have this. It's just such an amazing series. Again, I recommend this to literally every one of you watching this video. I bet there's something you will enjoy in Slam Dunk. All right, so moving on over to the next shelf here, we have my white bookcase, which is a little bit smaller, but still a lot of really great series on the shelf. Starting off with my Tezuka stuff, we have Ayako, Message to Adolf, Buddha, Grand Blue Dreaming, which I think a lot of people would probably pick as their favorite or one of the favorites off the shelf. Um, below that, my Inyo Asano, one of my favorite manga of all time. Good Eye Pun Pun, Dead Dead Demons, both my top 20 manga. Um, Girl on the Shore, ah man, it's hard, but I've, I don't think I can pick this one for my favorite on the shelf. Uh, then we have just some one shots, Shadow Lady, My Broken Mariko, all really good, but I don't think I could choose them for this. This shelf right here is going to be tough because there are so many series I love right here. Um, most of these are probably in my top 30 manga. We have Ping Pong, I've said multiple times, is one of my favorite sports series, right behind Slam Dunk. Cats of Louvre, Sunny, number five, I haven't read yet. Go Go Monster, Tekken King Crete, Uzumaki, Shortcuts, Tokyo Tribes. Um, and then below that we have Battle Angel Lita and Last Order Complete. Astro Lost in Space, which is really, really good. Um, offered, haven't read yet. I also took up my Roni Kenshin Vizbigs, which I haven't gotten to yet. Also, Siren, which I say so many times uh, is one of the most underrated and one of my favorite shonen series of all time. Uh, Ah, this is this is a really good series. This is really, really good, but I don't think it's better than Ping Pong. Uh, we also have Sundame, which is a great series. I love it, but uh, I don't think it's one of my favorites on the shelf. Um, you know, this might surprise some of you guys. You know, looking at all these, I say how much I love Taya Matsumoto, love Ping Pong, but I gotta go with Message to Adolf. This series, this series right here is literally a masterpiece this is i think one of my only three 10 out of 10 manga besides gantz and vinland saga um message date off is just absolutely incredible it is a tesca manga so it does go at a little bit of a slower pace but everything in this is just so masterfully done from the characters uh, if you guys don't know this fault this story follows three people named adolf we have a jew um a kid of a nazi and then we have of course adolf hitler himself and it follows their lives um throughout world war ii and kind of showing where they end up how they progress how they you know build themselves as people and just what end up happening to them in the span of a few years during world war ii and it, it's just so good this has the best mong ending i think of all time it's leagues above monster i know i'm shitting on monster a lot but they're kind of similar, um, if you know, you know, but this is just done to perfection. Um, just such an interesting manga and extremely relevant to our world today. Cannot recommend Message to Adolf enough. Um, I know a lot of you guys probably bought this when it got reprinted, but I haven't gotten to it yet. And to that I say, please, please hop on Message to Adolf. This series is incredible and it deserves to be read by every single person watching this video. Absolutely fantastic. Also, just for the hell of it, I'm going to throw in my manga box sets. Um, ignore all my One Piece volumes here. Um, Akira, we have Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, which I'll just count as one. And then my other box sets are One Piece 1 and 3. This is pretty easy. Um, one Piece is definitely going to take it for all the series that I have in box set format. I mean, of course, so many people just love One Piece. It's probably the best shonen manga that I've ever read. Actually, I could just say it with confidence. It is the best shonen manga I've ever read. After having read over 70 volumes of this so far, I've never once gotten bored of One Piece. It always stays fresh, stays unique. You come to love the crew, the cast of characters. I mean, everything about One Piece is just impeccably done. Um, yeah, other people will tell you these exact same things just because this is so popular and is popular for a very good reason. One Piece in my top five manga of all time. And if you guys just don't want to read this because it's popular or it's because it's long or because characters look like Usopp, just put that all to the side, give it a try. I guarantee you will enjoy this. All right, so here we are back in my apartment. And this is actually where I keep most of like my heavy hitter, absolute favorite manga in my entire collection. I love every single volume that I own, but this is where I keep like my top five, my top 10 series. So 
Um, we'll get into the first shelf over here to decide what is my favorite manga on this entire shelf. This first one up here is stuff that I haven't read yet, um, aside from Japan up there, which definitely is not going to make this list. Um, but below that we have Vinland Saga though, which is one of my favorite series of all time in my top three, along with One Piece, um, an amazing series, Spy Family, which I would not be surprised if this worked its way into my top 10 or 5 at some point. This is just absolutely amazing. Um, then we have below that Twin Spica, a series I actually recently read that made it in my top 20. But going up against Vinland Saga and One Piece, I mean, top 20 is just not going to cut it. Um, we also have back here, you know, this is definitely in the running. Um, I'll have to think about that for a minute before I decide. But I think that on the shelf, the best manga that I own, it, it's got to be Vinland Saga. I mean, this series is just a notch above almost everything else in my collection. Just a great historical fiction series about Vikings, badass action, and artwork by Makoto Yukimura. Just cannot really be matched with any other seinen manga series that I've ever read, uh, with a couple exceptions. Just a great series, great characters. Um, if you guys haven't read this, this is an absolute staple that I'd recommend to everybody who is a fan of manga or anime to check out this series in one way or another because you just do not want to miss this. And moving over to the second and final bookcase in my manga collection. Again, we have some just absolutely amazing series, a lot of manga series in my top 10. Starting off with, of course, Enid's an Endless World, one of my favorite sci-fi series I've ever read. And just one of the favorite things in my manga collection. Blam, an amazing sci-fi series. Fist of the I haven't read yet, um, but I doubt we would even make it anywhere close to be my favorite on this shelf. Berserk, man, what a series. If you guys have read this series, you know this is just top-notch quality. Um, just, oh, man, what a series, what a series. Below that, Gantz, my favorite manga of all time. I wonder what I'm going to pick for this shelf. And then finally down here we have Toriko, which I actually finished recently. A very underrated shonen, but you know, it's just not going to cut it. Um, the ending was really terrible. Uh, not really terrible, but they definitely sold for the final uh, part of this series. So not going to be Toriko. And, you know, without any more further ado, it's got to be Gantz. I mean, it's hard to ignore Eden up there and Berserk, you know, in my top five. But Gantz is just my favorite series of all time. We'll move this real fast. Um, yeah, Gantz, best sci-fi series I've ever read. Best manga series I've ever read. Just the action, the pacing, the pure creativity brought to the table by Hiroya Oku is just unmatched with anything I've ever read in manga or basically any medium um, besides manga. Just a fantastic series that really resonates with me personally. And you know, Gantz is not going to be for everybody. It's hyper-violent, hyper-sexual, and there's so many other hyper-controversial things. But man, a series has never connected with me like Gantz has, and uh, I do not foresee anything ever having such an impact on me when I was reading it as this series right here. So, that's going to be my favorite series on this shelf. And then my number two manga of all time, Vinla Saga, is going to be this series that's the best on the shelf for this shelf over here. But uh, yeah, that is my entire manga collection. I know I recently did a collection tour, but Manga Hero inspired me to do this video. He prompted a bunch of other manga creators to make this take um, on his video. So I decided to do just that. And it was really fun looking at everything in my collection. You know, I have so much great stuff that I love so much. So picking, you know, one thing off each shelf was extremely hard, but I think I have some pretty good picks. Let me know what you guys think of my favorite picks for my entire collection down in the comments below. Have you read anything that I said was my favorite, or do you think I made some snubs from things in my collection that you think are your personal favorite? Let me know down in the comments below. But yeah, that's going to do it for this video. Hope you guys did enjoy it. If you guys did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more manga videos just like this. So yeah, this has been the Prom G. Hopefully you enjoyed the video, and as always, hope to catch you in the next one.